and welcome again to a new episode of Two Stupid Gamers Playthrough Jet Set Radio. And joining us once again is Ali. Hey guys, what's up? Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and try to beat this level once and for all. Yeah, pick some more health, maybe a little quicker or something. So power is health, yeah, technique power. is I was... speed, I think, and graffiti is the amount of cans. Oh, so like oh, the Oh, so she can hold the most graffiti yeah. gum. Oh, okay. This guy has the most power, so the most health. And he has... It's a technique. Oh, well, I'm gonna go with B, because he's... Technique? Speed, I think. Oh, okay. I'm not entirely sure, but I think it's speed. Man, I think I was at Comic-Con once and I saw a Jet Set Radio cosplay. <laughs> yeah, me too, I saw it. That guy was great. I love it. I love seeing people doing, like, obscure games. Yeah? Yeah, yeah me too. Are you kidding? My, one of my one of my earliest cosplay my earliest cosplay experiences was just that obscure games, and uh, I remember being so blown away that someone recognized me as uh, I was the lone survivor from the game Lone Survivor. Oh, oh someone wow! Someone recognized me as, at a uh, Comic Con. That's sick. Yeah. I got more recognized. I got more recognized at uh, PAX for obvious reasons because it's a video game convention. Yeah. But, uh, I'm trying to think of like oh! obscure ones I've seen. Oh, I don't know. Oh my god. There we yeah, go. Yeah, that's a good I've been to so many cons that like it's so hard to just think of the one, but there's definitely been some really obscure good ones. Son of a female. <laughs> I think I saw someone try to do a Tachikoma from Ghost in the Shell. Yo! <laughs> and it was really weird looking. But I really commend them for trying that. Oh, I gotta show you this guy. Hold on, I'm gonna pull this. I guess I'll text this to the Hans later so you can see it. I, I, uh, I have, uh, I've met this guy at, um, at Anime NYC. Yeah. And, uh, oh man, he was, he was, he was the special ending for the edit that we did because it was just so. I'll show you. It was, it was pretty cool. So, where is it? I'm tearing it up right now. Get all the cans. Hell yeah. yeah, I gotta finish these before the cops come. Nice, nice. Yeah. Damn it. There we go. If I mess up, I just waste cans. Alright. Oh my god. Yep. <laughs> it's incredible. There's oh, a, I know which one you mean. Yeah, there's a picture. There's a picture of him at a con where there were two police officers there. I guess as like security, and they they pulled him over. Oh wow, that's yeah. sick. Yeah. He should have like a boombox playing like Deja Vu. Yeah, he does. Oh, he does. That's, yeah, that's so good. At one in the, at the end of the that's what I'm saying. Like at the end of the video that we did, I I was randomly filming a time lapse of the upper. I guess it was just such a small con that he happened to be there. Yeah. But I noticed that in the video, you could see him like drifting <laughs> through the convention floor, <laughs> and there was a whole line of people behind him, and they all were like playing music and shit. Oh man! Yeah. Initial D is incredible. It is. It really is. It was... Damn it! Oh, you need one more can? Are you serious? Yep. I'm actually quite upset. I feel your pain. Oh! What? Oh, that's such an ugly invisible go. wall. Nice. At least you get something out of that invisible true, wall. True, true, true. And another thing, it wasn't such a wet fart. <laughs> a wet. <fart. laughs> this is where the controls get annoying. Oh, at least I didn't fall flat on my face and lose health. I know you're in Spyro, right? Fucking love Spyro. Are you Are you excited about the remasters? The reignited, uh, the reignited yeah, trilogy. Dude. Fuck yeah, dude! Yeah. When I saw that trailer, I like actually screamed. <laughs> you should have seen me when I saw um, Crash. When when John Layden like uh, walked out onto the stage with the Crash shadow oh, on yeah. him, I lost my <laughs> shit. I actually cried for a second. I'm like, <laughs> oh my god! And that trilogy, the Crash trilogy, was so good. It was. I have some friends that tell me they didn't like it because uh, they changed the the the, 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 the walking. Thing. Not not the walking. The, the gravity. Like, like, oh uh, yeah. It's such a slight difference though. I beat Crash One on the new trilogy. It wasn't a problem. Well, the thing is, it was actually. Uh, I found it better. Yeah. Pete, a lot of I laughed when people said, "Oh my God, this is so hard." 
And I'm like, really? You guys haven't played Crash? Yeah, yeah Crash 1 on PS1 where you couldn't save unless you got all the boxes. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> well, actually you could. It's just that you need... No, way. You could save if you went up to a uh, Yeah, a bonus to a certain yeah point, yeah. But you can't save on, on, on regular level unless you get all the boxes. That's right. It was so stupid. But again, that was back uh, before memory cards became a thing. Yeah. Like they had just started becoming a thing and Naughty Dog was like, well, how do we how do we get people who don't have memory cards yet to play? Well, if they get up to this point, we could have them put in a uh, code. Yeah. Which is actually how I started like learning how to cheat in games because of Crash. Yeah. Um, my friend from elementary school, Brandon, he gave me the super code. Nice. Or the mega code or whatever. Which basically unlocked everything. Oh, I see. I miss that. I miss games having that. Now you gotta you gotta pay like two ninety nine for the unlock everything thing. Ah, that's not <laughs> No I fell <laughs> That's not fun. It definitely ain't, but that's that's how gaming go these days, unfortunately. Yeah, like now when you buy a fighting game you go home. You have to either unlock the characters or pay money. You can't and use the code anymore. Most of the time, it's pay money. Yeah. You are using a code. You're just paying for that yeah. code. You know? <laughs> yeah. I am goofing up right now. I just want to finish that one damn thing. Oh, yeah. You have to. I'm just more mad about the um, uh, DLC characters, really. Having to pay for just oh, the characters yeah. themselves. Because I'll grind for a character, sure, but at least, you know, at least it's free. Street Fighter lets you grind, which is a good thing, I guess. It just takes forever. Yeah, it really does. But yeah, like... Yes, I got it too! About, like, Crash and Spyro, like... Back in the day, everyone would talk about, like... N64 having all the cool, like, rare platformers. Oh, hell no. No, 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 no. Like, I, I agreed. Yeah. Like, uh, rare, uh, back in the day, not not so much these days. Yeah. Um, they made some fantastic games. Banjo and Kazooie. Yeah. Um, Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Yeah. Um, Which, by but, the way, I was actually gonna say, I've been hunting, like, uh, old Xbox games. Yeah. Dude, I so wanna, want us to do an episode on, um... Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Oh, I oh. never got to play it. I, I never actually, got. To I play. It's, it's like a horrible game. game, though. I actually enjoyed it. What do you mean? It you was horrible? <laughs> it, did you not watch John Tron's uh, take on it? <laughs> no, I didn't. You should because John Tron just John John Tron John Tron. John Tron. Uh, he tore a new one because it's like yo, how do you, how are you how are you gonna tell us you're gonna give us a new Banjo Banjo Kazooie game and then make it a thought carding? Yeah, see that's the problem with the game. If they took all the Banjo stuff out, it would be a fine game, you know. Indeed. But it's just it's like it's kind of a tease for the Banjo fans. And the thing is, what pisses me off a lot about Microsoft, they own the Banjo-Kazooie license. Yeah. They can easily, for the Xbox One, release a new, brand spanking, awesome version of Banjo-Kazooie. The oh, one that they, every... they don't make games, they don't make new games anymore on Microsoft. They just, they just put third-party ports on Xbox One, that's it. <laughs> that just sucks, man. Yeah. I was always off to the side, and I was always like, yeah, you guys have your N64 platformers, but I have my superior PS1 platformers. Yeah, no, seriously, Crash and Spyro were mine, man. Yeah, Spyro's, Spyro's an incredible game. I, unfortunately, am on the other side because I didn't grow up with the PS1. So uh, I love Donkey Kong 64, I love uh, Banjo. Um, they are great, yeah. Did it! Nice, good job. Passing the controller. Oh, you want to go? You go, my sure. guy. Take the controller. Right. Yeah. Ali's taking the well, mantle now. While we have our, our guest in, in studio, finish off. Skip this shit. Oh, right. Once again, gonna... you guys want to see these cutscenes? You can find them easily on YouTube. It's just Professor K talking, pretty much. All right. What do we have here? Do graffiti. Oh, do I was gonna say graffiti. High, but never mind. All right, I'll do it. I don't remember this one. And so it's still the, the same three places? Like, the map is just those three places? Yeah, but they're like different parts of those places. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. I always liked this area, but it was also always so complicated. Yeah. 
It's a little confusing, especially for like kids and stuff. Yeah, if I had had this when I was a child, I would have never been able to beat it, but I would have loved how awesome it was. It's because when you become an adult, video games just become so much easier. Yeah. Or at least the problems that you had when you were a kid become easier. Not to say that video games are all easy. Some games are harder now, like... Uh... Like Dark Souls. <laughs> <laughs> I would have cried if I had played Dark Souls as a kid. Oh, man. Like, I harder than I up. cry now. I probably would have brought the game back to the store. Probably would have told them, you guys sold me a game that's defective. That's what I would have said. This game is broken. So we just gotta do a meme of uh, Exhibit where it's like, I think you got Dark Souls, so I put Dark Souls in your Dark Souls, so it's like Dark Souls. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's right, you can open up that area. Dude, I like how that, I like how that opened with like a circle, as opposed yeah. to just breaking and disappearing. Hey, it's that spot I had so much problems last episode. Yeah. I'm so bad at this. I think it's because I use the Wii U Pro controller when I play. Oh. I mean, you're not to jinx you, but I do more in these comps. Yeah, I lost the first few though. I like screwed up. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, PS3 controller. I, I, no, I, I love the analog sticks on the PS3 controller. Yeah, me too, to be honest. Sometimes they feel a little, little bit, like just slightly too loose. In terms of movement, but eh, PS4 controller definitely nailed it. Oh my God! Yeah. Sony's all like, "Hey, how do we how do we edit this controller to make it more ergonomic and just function better?" Yeah, they wow. got the D-pad down too. Oh my God! I'm so, I was so happy because I tried the Xbox One controller and it's basically the same thing. Yeah, as the 360. The D-pad is still shit. Like it clicks now. What? How do you make a D-pad click? No, but how did they not change that? That was like the biggest complaint about It's like the slightly better, but it's still bad. <laughs> Here's the problem. Oh, it's because they're trying to sell you the Pro Controller. If they're gonna oh, probably. probably. Right. That was what, so like, why change it when you're gonna make people pay like a hundred more bucks for a controller you use once? I went to someone's house that had that, and it's actually nice. It but actually feels Is the D-pad like, any better? Yeah, you could swap it out for a nicer one. Like a shield D-pad or...? Um... Because a shield D-pad, I'll accept if it's big enough. Yeah, I'm not I'm not too sure about if that. If it's the size of my pinky, it ain't a D-pad. I only played like Halo on, on his Xbox. So I mean, what sure. else could you play on Xbox? <laughs> Gears, Gears, Gears. So I've heard. I wanted to, again, I wanted to play Sunset over here. But... Yeah. Yeah, I bought I bought a copy of that and I bought a copy of Rare Replay and I don't have an Xbox. Dude, one. wait, Rare does Rare Replay, Replay have Banjo Kazooie? Yes. Does it have Conquer? It has all the games except for the licensed ones, so no Donkey Kong and no Goldeneye. Well, of course, yeah. that I expected. It has a uh, Conquer the N sixty four version, not the Xbox version. Really? Yeah, because they kind of don't like the Xbox version because it got censored and stuff. Like yeah, that. I was hearing uh, our so our friend AJ like we talk chat a lot on this, and he was specifically complaining about that version, but. Actually, our playthrough got him hype on it. He said he's gonna look for the game and he wants to play it, just because uh, it's it has some like differences. Yeah, he they actually, do a lot of references to the original content. Yeah, there's there's actually one funny thing though. Uh, he messaged me because he got the rare replay, he got the collection, and he was asking me like, hey, where's where's live and reloaded? I thought you guys said it had it, and I had to tell him, dude, we played on a 360. Yeah. We yeah. didn't play we the, the, the Xbox game. One version. And he and he was just like, oh, fuck. Yeah, no, they didn't put Live and Reload in there. They should have given you both, to be honest. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't. It's not like they had space limitations or anything. Why, did, why not just give you both, though? Uh, it's Microsoft. They make some weird decisions. Yeah. But then again, to the Sony. Rare Replay 2? <laughs> they're not gonna do that. No, they're, they're not Capcom. They, they, they don't, they don't, <laughs> they're not Capcom. That, and they don't respect. Uh, I don't think they respect uh, Rare that much. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at what they make. Look at what they're making them do now. Pirate a, game. A freaking pirate game that has no content in it. <laughs> I wanted to like Sea of Thieves. I just. Um, I Me too. Like I paid for the Xbox Game Pass for one month. 
to play it, but I did everything in Sea of Thieves, um, like in like five days, pretty much. <laughs> and of course, I could get more money and buy the, all the clothes, but who cares, you know? It also so. had a really long development cycle, from what it seems like. Yeah, which I don't understand. They, they just made water the whole time. They the just water, made water. <laughs> the water is really nice, but that's like the only thing. I, that's that's a game I wanted it to do well. Even if it's even if I don't get to play it, I did want it to be. Uh, especially since I just I like rare. I always like rare. I don't care what console we develop for. My favorite rare game is Viva Pinata 2. Really? I, I love you. That, that's an amazing game. I like how the tank just popped. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's how you can tell this is an old game. That just got. I, yeah, there's been plenty like buildings popping in and stuff like that. Um. We got Damn, you got Jet? Jet. Am I staying on, or do you guys want to... Uh, let Powell try, because yeah. he, needs to, he uh, needs to get his practice in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got about... Um, in fact, I'll just give you the watch, so you have the time. This, is this next level is not too bad. Okay. I really do like this game, it just... That that part was too hard for me. Um, it felt really constrict... Like, I, I'm still not getting used to just jumping on stuff and, like, climbing. Uh, what's the next level? It's in uh, Kogane, the, the right side area. Okay. Yeah, you gotta click this. And... Yeah, this yeah. this one is good. It, it's not too hard, and okay. it's one of my favorites. Uh, uh, and you said technique was speed, you think? I think so. Yeah. Well, I'm not gonna go with someone that has low health, so I'll probably go with... Um, I'll probably go with... Uh, Tap. Uh, yeah, him again. They changed his name in future to Korn. I noticed that. Why would they do that? Tab was a fine name. <laughs> yeah, it really fits well. Corn is such a stupid name. Like, Tab sounds like a name you hear from like one of your friends from the 90s. Yeah. Or like early 2000s. Like that's What are they wearing on their face? <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. It's this game. Okay. One thing that's been like on my mind the whole time that I've been watching like you guys play and playing myself. Is the gangs and like the, all the color coding kind of reminds me of the Warriors because oh. that's everything was like so colorful and uh, all the gangs had these ridiculous outfits but they were themed so everyone would look like a like a mime or like a baseball bat clown oh my god I'm oh, sorry baseball player clown yeah, yeah. So. I never saw the movie but I played the PS2 game oh, you, uh, it's so like normally I'll tell people that my favorite movie of all time is Apocalypse Now. Yeah. Because like, I want to be classy. But actually my favorite movie of all time is The Warriors. <laughs> Nen is your silly movie. goose. You ain't no classy. <laughs> you, you, you I no just classy. feel like in in like in like a, a conversation like most people will respect like a movie like of that caliber. But if I say The Warriors, they'd be like, ah, you know. It's just the war it's just an indie film essentially. I understand what you mean. Because uh, when people ask me what are my favorite movies of all time, like I usually just say Back to the Future because it really is one of my favorite movies yeah. of all time. But you can't like say that to everyone, I think. No, no, no. It's just that another movie that I really love is, uh, and this one I kind of get scared in saying, Kung Pao Enter the Fist. Yes. Isn't that <laughs> that movie was hilarious? I love that movie, dude. I rented that movie from my local video store that's not there anymore, like oh. thirty times. And they asked me if I wanted to buy it, and I was like, man, you I was dumb. <laughs> you really, with, with the amount of times you rented it, you probably paid more than what you would have paid yeah. just bought it. <laughs> now, I know what you mean, though, because, like, I, in school, I was a media studies student, so a lot of the people were filmed, and I would always tell them, my favorite movie is Empire Strikes Back, and they're like, really? <laughs> I'm just like, wow. why? <laughs> it's a great movie. <laughs> I'm actually really um, miffed on myself from like high school because there was a there was a video store too that closed down and um, it and had a yeah you want to well, you want to go from like a higher point like that they, there was okay, there was um there was a copy of some Metal Gear game like a rare version of a Metal Gear yeah. game there they were selling it for like ten bucks. And I just never bought it because I never had ten bucks. So you could jump after the wall ride. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then I could spray. Oh, okay. Did I get it? Anyway, point being that I never got that that thing. 
It's like I'm not getting this. Yeah. What what Metal Gear game was it? I don't remember. I think it was Metal Gear 2. And my friend was like, dude, this game is amazing. You have to play it. And I said I, I would go back and buy it. Yeah. Just have a good. Metal Gear Solid 2 is like a religious experience for me. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that game so much. I love Kojima. He's one of my favorite people in the world. I'm glad he got a second chance after the Konami thing. Yeah. Konami is such a trash company. Like, what the hell's wrong with that? I know. It's horrible. And they used to, they had an amazing track record back in the day. Yeah, yeah. They did. It's just like, hey, we've been doing pretty good, yeah. I think it's time for us to start doing shit. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. That way people hate us. You know what yeah. would make us more money? Gambling. Oh, um, <laughs> No more video games. I mean, they're not wrong, but then... How much respect are you going to get from it that? It makes... Yeah, it makes sense, because they are actually making money. But then again, it's dumb, because it's like... Why not just stick to your bread and butter? Or, why, why do you have to give up video games, too? I heard a rumor that part of um, Konami staff is involved with the Yakuza. Oh, that so, would explain a lot. Yeah. It's just a, a rumor, though. But I, it sounded pretty true to me. <laughs> well, yeah, when you follow the red thing, it's like, uh, what's it called? Yeah, gambling, Yakuza. Uh, kind of go hand in hand. Yeah. And I'm looking for paint. I, I ain't got any. There's some inside the house. Inside the house? Yeah. Like on the sides oh, yeah, and I up see. there. I yeah. see blue, uh, blue. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Yeah, I'm not. I'm not exactly like. You know. This is this is just a practice run for me. Yeah, that's fine. You, this is like the, your second level. Still, I'm getting. I am getting. Kind of getting the hang of it, sort of. Um, I'm actually really liking the game, to be honest. That's, that's, that's a good sign. Yeah. It's always it's always good to like a game that you're gonna be playing. Oh my god. Freaking cops. Oh man. That's always gonna be a pain in the ass, dude. You might want to jump down onto onto the top of the building. I know, I know, but I want to place it. Yeah, those only require like one can. Those red ones are the... Uh, Hell, I know. Oh, you might not have enough. Yep. Ooh, no. Wait, I still have one. That was enough to finish it, but I still have one. Wait, how did I didn't collect. What is this? Those yellow things? The thing that I just picked up. You get, um. What? You could switch your graffitis out for different ones, and those are like how you unlock them. I should just realize I probably could have wall rided from that rooftop. Yeah, that's what I was trying to tell you before. You still need to get more uh, hands though. Go inside yeah, the building. I know, I know. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be. Oh yeah. I'm trying. Yeah. Ah, damn it! I wanted to I wanted to latch onto that power line. Ooh, the camera messed me up. Like I can't see where I'm going. Yeah, it's a big problem yeah. in this game. One one thing that I would love for like a sequel to this or like a, another version was to, was to have a, a lock-on camera to like right behind you. Oh yeah. Or like right behind and above you so you can get a much better view. Like, like I don't mind moving the camera but sometimes it's super shaky and it makes the picture on the I don't know what exactly is happening. You could push in the left trigger I think and it, it, lock, it like moves the camera behind you. You mean... You can't do that with the left trigger because the left, left trigger is for the uh, feeding. Or um, does it work? Maybe, I don't know. I might be confusing the future controls. Probably. Nice. Just out of curiosity, I want to see how many. You got seven so, left. I think I could do this, but I'll try. It's oh possible, God. you just... A lot of them are the small ones, so you should be fine. It's that, definitely that one that's held me back. 
This one gave me so much trouble a long time ago. Because I can't. I'm you like want to go to the building, dude. The yeah. building will get you. I was you mashing the. Um, I was mashing the spray button. It just wouldn't work. Like I got really close to it a couple of times. I just. It, it didn't matter that I was mashing. And he hurt me too. I do like that you can jump really far in this game. Yeah. There you go. You see, now you need the other half. The helicopters. You can actually jump onto the helicopters and, and spray, spray them. them. Yeah. And then they crash and blow up. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Makes sense, but that sounds really cool. I mean, just imagine, like, you get your your window screen painted. Like, sure, you can't see, but you can still like try to land. Yeah. Alright, now try to grind, like wall ride. Oh, yeah! Did I get it? You did it. Oh, sweet. Alright, now you just need the last few. Yeah, yeah just, just get some more cans from yeah, me. Right? So you don't get, like, killed or whatever. That's pretty good. Give it 80 seconds. Uh, but still. Um, you just need to run out of here. Four. I just see them. They're the ones in the back. Yeah, no, so you just need to run there. You yeah. should be able to do it. Go to the right instead, instead of going to the left. Okay. Yeah, remember the cops were there. Probably coming from the right. Okay. 60 seconds. Just one minute. You can do it. They're all up this there. One There's one right there. You just gotta them. jump. Uh, I missed it. Try from there. Trying. Can I just stand it? Stand and spray. No. no. Fuck. Try to jump straight up. Like, yeah. Yeah. There you go. yeah. Quickly, quickly. Quickly. Yeah. I know. I know. I know. You got There's it. It's too much pressure. Oh. I hope those aren't the big ones. Oh, they are. Oh, fine. Oh, uh, the other one shouldn't be. Oh. Yeah. oh. I yeah! yeah. I nice! Oh, man. I beat a level. That's not that bad. Alright, and Great that's job. the end of this episode. Yeah. yeah. Um, congratulations, Nanus, for pulling this off in the nick of time. Hell yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, was I badass. told you guys I got it. What the fuck? You're not believing uh, in me? So, yeah. Um, thanks, everyone, for watching once again. Once again, thanks, Ali, for joining us. Yeah, no problem. Um, feel free to check out his uh, Twitch channel. We'll leave a link in the description. And uh, thank you all for watching. Yeah, thanks a lot. We'll see um, you guys in episode four. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what you think of the playthrough so far. Mm -hmm. What you think about my effort today? And uh, <laughs> oh, oh, uh, her struggle. Her Herculean uh, effort here. <laughs> we did it. Yeah. So uh, see you next time, everyone. Bye. Bye.